What is going on guys, it's your boy Big Dylan and welcome back to another Zero Location and Recommendation video. This is July the 7th to the 9th, as always, let's just get straight into it. So first of all, starting off with the exotic engram, we have a Legacy Helmet engram. As always, I do not recommend picking this up as it gives you year 1 light level gear. However, if you are trying to collect your year 1 exotics and exotic armor kiosk in the tower, then feel free to collect them. For Titans this week, we've got the Eternal Warrior with a 80% stat roll of intellect and strength. In my opinion, nothing really to write home about on that exotic helmet, um, only grants unstoppable, and for me it's not really needed, because when you run um, Titan Smash, you usually get the kill or you're not going to get it anyway. Um, so for me, not really needed, but again, if you're trying to collect it, definitely do pick it up. Um, for Hunters this week, you've got the young Ahamkara's Spine, with a 85% stat roll of discipline and strength. These are actually a really good exotic for golden guns, especially in Iron Banner this week where it's mayhem, you can just pretty much throw a trip mines above doorways and get free kills. Definitely recommend picking them up if you are playing Iron Banner or if you do like to play golden gun a lot. But if you do pick them up, I'd recommend maybe trying to get some glass needles and try and get a better stat roll and maybe some better perks on them as they are a little bit on the low side. For Warlocks this week, we've got Ophidian Aspects with a 90% stat roll of intellect and strength. These are always pretty much my go-to exotic when I play Crucible on my Warlock. You get increased melee attack speed, increased grenade throw distance, you get increased reload speed with all weapon types and you get improved energy drain abilities. I mean, definitely an absolutely amazing exotic. Definitely recommend picking these up if you've not got them whatsoever at the moment. Um, again, the 90% stat roll could be a little bit better, so you might want to pick up some glass needles, but other than that, definitely recommend picking them up. For the weapon this week, we have the Hawk Moon. Now this is a little bit of a nostalgia weapon for me. Um, mainly, like I say, it was good in year one, um, but other than that, it's uh, pretty much never really had its time to shine. Ha suffers from the lack of range um, in recent metas. Definitely going to get outshot by Eyes Lunas and Palindromes at range, but it is still by far one of the best looking exotics in the game, one of the best sounding, and it's just an absolutely great feeling weapon to use. Definitely recommend picking this bad boy up if you don't currently own one. For everything else this week, we have the weapon bundles, the Monte Carlo and Zalo Supercell. We have the Plasma Drive, Emerald Coil, 3 Heavy Ammo for 1 Strange Coin and 10 for 3 Strange Coins. 3 of Coins, Glass Needles, Mote Light for Strange Coin Exchange and finally Exotic Shards. Anyways, hope this gives you an idea on what to get this week. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for our future Destiny and Destiny 2 content. Thank you so much for watching and peace.